Morning, good. Morning time. Time to rise and shine. Oh, no. Let's go canoeing. We gotta put the canoe on the top, strap it all down, drive it one mile away, take it off, put it, put it in the water. Got the defroster going. Come on, we gotta go. A good day on the water not very many waves yet we're going with the wind today so it shouldn't be so bad and I have to put on a shirt even though I don't want to because it's very sunny we have 10 miles to paddle to the island I don't know if I've ever paddled 10 miles before but I got this we saw a whole bunch of people on power boats go out this morning but we're human powered boat we have a good map we have all of the things we need on our checklist it's gonna be wild! Oh. We're saying bye to the safe harbor, heading on to the open sea where all the mangroves, crocodiles, alligators, and manatees live. This is gonna be a wild trip! Tricolored heron in a snowy egret. Kit's a little bit nervous right now because even though we're this far away from land, we're in about five inches of water right now. The wind is blowing behind us. Now here's the thing, you want to check your tides. In high tide, you can go between the mainland and this island here. Mm -hmm. But if it's low tide, you can run aground in a canoe. Oh, wow. Here we are an hour and a half before low tide and we're stuck here. JR, we need to go straight out that way. It's only going to get shallower from here for the next two hours. Water, water everywhere. Only five inches deep. It, the mud down here, if you stick your paddle in, it just it's like quicksand. So you can, it's not like you can get out and push it or carry it. You'll sink right into your waist. Oh my God. Look, we're pulling. This is awful. I am not liking this. I am not liking this one bit. You see that? There it is. You can see that right there. The bottom's right there. It's that. getting deeper. We left the sandbar. This is better. But the thing is, how do you pee on a canoe? He's a paddle man. He paddles forward whenever he can. You're so encouraging, kid. He's a paddle man, paddling all day, wherever he can. I'll tell you what would be encouraging, kid, for you to paddle too. Yeah, I am a Paddlesaurus. They call me that for short. My long name is Paddlesaurus Morris, but they call me Paddlesaurus for short. You're a mouthful. Right now, I've really got to pee, and I spotted a beach up there, so we're headed to the beach. I hope we don't get stuck. Pit, I gotta go pee. Okay, we're gonna go for the beach. Ramming speed to the beach. If you guys watch me sink into a sinkhole, 
know that this was a good last day. My spirit will haunt this beach forever. Oh, it's very slimy! Whoa! Oh! Our own private island. There's no one else here. White sand here. This is what they call paradise, people. What a knee deep in the mud. You fell in a quicksand. I hope this side is sturdy enough to grow. Hmm. Good muddy out here. Bye, JR. <laughs> Started here, right about here, Kit felt like we were gonna get stuck. And I think we're at East Clubhouse Beach. So it looks like we have, we're about a third of the way there. Oh my, wow. We might need to do a little bit of paddling this afternoon. Oh my. <laughs> Beach in it. Oh shit. Watch out. Wow, this is amazing. It's, it's the edge of the world. I always wanted a private beach of my own and now I have one for three days. I had to work hard for it. I had to paddle 10 miles. This is the only sign of life I've found so far, as well as some birds out there. This is called a horseshoe crab. They live in the mangrove. Ah, uh, yes, home sweet home. They are, I got some sand in, inside in your bed already. Yikes. I got sand all over my feet. I have crusty sand toes. I gotta get this off my feet before we take a nap. It's very sandy here. So we're gonna get exfoliation. So it's like a spa day. I guess that's what we'll be calling it. It's like a bird blind in here. We're hidden so they're all walking past and they don't see us, I don't think. We woke up from our nap feeling refreshed. JR went and found us some sticks so that we can make a fire tonight. It feels really good to be out here and on another soul around, except for some birds. set up here for camp. I've been thinking about how we really like to be alone. It's something special to be out here miles away from any city. A place that you can only get to by boat and that we got to by our own hands by paddling. Kind of just 
enjoying and reveling in that moment tonight. And in being alone, it feels really good to just have a breath of fresh air. I always need to kind of retreat into myself and I'm a bit of a hermit. There's a lot of stories of hermits who lived out on these islands in the Everglades. Uh, there's a lot of mythology around that. I'm like, that sounds like a dream I can get down with. Anyone else a complete introvert, borderline hermit out there? Because that would be me. And if you are, let me know what you do to deal with it. How do you find alone time in such a hectic, connected world? I promise. I was just resting my eyes. Mm -hmm. We went to bed last night after having our fire and we slept pretty well. There are lots of mosquitoes here. Probably have 400 mosquito bites on me right now. So I'm donating blood to the ecosystem. Some people donate blood to the Red Cross. I donate blood to the mosquitoes so that the bats and birds have something to eat. to make some tea and right now we're switching it over to kit cam which is from my point of view because usually you get to see what JR is pointing the camera at but right now I'm gonna cover this scene and I'm gonna do it well and JR is gonna be behind me making tea Today is a wonderful pu'er tea, which is an aged black tea that I love. This one I got from a place called Tea Source. This is what they say about it. When steeped traditionally, it has a lovely bright clarity to the cup. When steeped stronger, it has a deep, rich, very strong, sweet note. Bring that hoity-toity stuff on a camping trip. Yeah, you gotta drink good tea wherever you go if you're someone like me. I wish I had is steeped. JR has done the pouring. What we do for breakfast is we blend butter and a refined coconut oil into our hot beverage of choice. So we brought our battery powered foamer and we're going to be making this here. Thanks JR. Cheers finish off this here segment, I'm gonna leave him a verbal Yelp review for Backcountry Barista. My tea is hot, frothy, creamy, and sumptuous. As I sip it, I think of my feet being in the sand. Cause they are. Thank you, Backcountry Barista. How many stars? How many stars can you give on Yelp? <laughs> Do you know? That's five. Five and a half stars for Backcountry Barista. Mm. What do you think, JR? Well, it's still not coffee. <laughs> Today we left our camp behind and we took a channel inland. We're paddling through the mangroves and I'm hoping that we're gonna see a crocodile or an alligator, possibly both. All right, push the 
shop. of crabs on this tree. This is the only place that you can see crocodiles and alligators in the same spot. JR, we can't be going swimming in this water. Always go swimming, except with the crocs. This place is wild! There's a huge crocodile right there. I'm afraid right now. Wow, he does look evil. That's the mouth of a monster right there. He's awesome. That's the closest I've ever been to a croc. And he was just chilling, looking at us like this. I didn't know if we were getting too close. That was wild. trip out. Now what, JR? Now we frolic on the beach. Frolic on the beach. Thank you for joining us on the trip out to the island. It was a really good time. If you liked it and you want to be on future adventures on the bus with us, then you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or leave a comment below and let us know what you think about the Florida islands. And we'll see you next time. Stay wild.